Well, I wanted to talk a little bit about shark tooth hunting this morning, and I try not to make it too long because I just realized I can easily make it way too long by accident. Um, I'm going to talk about the different areas around Charleston that uh, I have experienced in shark tooth hunting, but first I want to mention something. I have a, um, not for promotion purposes, but I have this this site, uh, I have a YouTube channel and I have a, a playlist called Shark Tooth Hunting and I have 168 videos that I took and as you can see I've got over 6,000 views. And uh, what has happened over the years is um, I get lots of emails from people wanting to know exactly where they can find uh, a, a high dollar shark's tooth. Now what that appeals to in me is it's the instinct of why would, if I knew where there was a high dollar shark's tooth, why would I take a total stranger out in the bush or on the river or in the bushes, in the woods, wherever, in a creek and point to a high dollar shark's tooth and say, there it is, pick it up. <laughs> it just doesn't make sense. So anyways, um, but then on the other hand, I like, I'm a social person and I like camaraderie and all this sort of thing. Let me get, get moving on this uh, video. I started shark tooth hunting here in the Cooper. This is the Cooper River. I, this is where I started. Uh, I'm, I'm a certified master scuba diver. And uh, I started diving this river all the way down, excuse me, to about here. And um, this is Bushy Park Landing right here. And... Typically, we didn't go any further down than about here. I think this is the French Quarter right here. Because what happens is the river starts getting big and fast, and that's difficult. You don't want it too big, and you don't want it too fast, uh, because it becomes treacherous. So anyways, we, we used to hunt in here. You can hunt all the way up to, all the, way up to the, uh, the dam, and some people have hunted the dam, but that's dangerous also. That's a long story. They go in these pipes. Uh, and they find all sorts of stuff, but it's dangerous. I wouldn't do that. Uh, that's just me. Everybody has a risk level, and mine is about six or seven on a scale of one to ten. But anyways, there's the Edisto River. That's where I started, and then I switched over here to the Edisto River. And uh, let me zoom in a little bit. Okay, so we have uh, the Edisto River here and this is uh, martin's landing and uh, i've hunted the edisto river all up and down through here and we typically do not go down here because especially this far down here because you're getting into thick alligator territory and uh, up in here there are very seldom you know one alligator sighted per 20 years you know, there's no food up here. The alligators don't like it up here. And this is difficult to traverse in the Edisto. There are other places I've hunted up further, uh, up further on the Edisto, but um, uh, that's, a, that's another story. So there's also the Wando, if you're a diver. Okay, uh, here's the Wando. I've hunted the Wando. You have to go to the upper reaches again because this is too big and too fast. The water's too fast. It's too treacherous. So you have to go up here. And I've also done some uh, walking around uh, land hunting, I guess you would say, land hunting, shore hunting, uh, edge of the water. And we have found teeth up in here. So that's a, that's a, an area. But, you know, there's no one spot that I can point to. It's like, go there and you will find teeth. It's, it's not that type of thing. Um, uh, after hunting, and I'm still hunting the Edisto, but after hunting the Edisto, oh, God, i got to speed up. I hunted, I looked at, you know, a lot of beach areas, Drum Island. I've hunted here, found teeth here on this northern shore. Um I've hunted all down in here, but I don't find much in here at all. Although there are people that find an occasional large tooth. The Ashley is a, a little too treacherous for me. I don't like it. A little, many, little bit too many alligators. Um, the upper reaches of the um, Ashley, here it goes, past Somerville. 
I have hunted it up here. Haven't found anything up here, but I know that it has potential. And then there's Somerville, which is an extremely popular place. And uh, here's Somerville, and here's the water. Here's the creeks and the water. This is the Ashley over here. And I think this is Sawmill Branch. I'm not sure, but I think so. Um, and then down around Ladson. These, these two lines that I drew on here is um, what I call the shark tooth band because no matter where you go, uh, if you stay about that distance off the coast, it seems that the uh, the, the layers of the earth that contain the uh, that contain the fossils are closest to the surface in that area, and the waterways the waterways cut through the uh, cut through the earth and and uh, dig out the teeth for you, and that happens in a smaller fashion in the creeks. Okay, here's the creeks. Okay, one of the problems with hunting the creeks and land hunting is private property. You have to respect people's private property. So that really causes uh, causes you a dilemma and causes you pro pro a problem or problems because you need permission to, to hunt private property. So, uh, but if you can get, and I don't know the laws as far as, you know, Creeks, I don't think, belong to anybody. But then if it cuts directly across somebody's property, I don't. maybe it does belong to them. I don't know. So, Or maybe they think it belongs to them. So there's problems there. But anyways, um, this is a great area to hunt shark's teeth. And uh, when I say that is a great area, so this is just as good. This is just as good. This is just as good. It has to do with being 20 miles off of the coastline. Now, I wouldn't go up in here because there's less and less teeth, but there's more and more teeth down here, but who knows where they are? They're, they're elusive is not the right word, but they're hard to find. Um, uh, people stumble across them, but you stumble across them more frequently if you're looking. So anyways, I don't want to uh, go on and on with this video, so I'm going to stop here. Uh, thanks for watching, and I uh, hope you have a good day.